Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 16th of 2019. Well, it is titled the elephant's trunk nebula in Cepheus. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the elephant's trunk nebula and is a dark nebula and is a dark nebula that is more than 20 light years long. Now we don't often always talk here about what a light year means but a light year is regardless of it having year in its name is actually a distance it is how far light travels in one year or about 10 trillion kilometers. So we use light years in astronomy because they are much more convenient. It is a lot easier to say 20 light years than it is to say 200 trillion kilometers. So we have a better understanding. Can we comprehend what the number 20 means? Even if we can't comprehend the distance of a light year, we can at least understand what 20 and compare that to other uh, objects that might be hundreds or thousands of light years away. And if we start talking with those hundreds of trillions of kilometers away, it's just something that is numbers that are just out of our everyday understanding and beyond our really our comprehension. So this is actually an example of a dark nebula. A dark nebula is a dark dusty area where the material is dense enough that it blocks out the light from behind it. So what we see is not an absence of material, but is actually the presence of excess material that is not allowing light from behind to pass through. So when you look in through this field, you can see lots of stars scattered around and there are some denser, darker areas where no stars appear to be. In actuality, there are stars there behind that dust cloud. It is simply that the dust is so thick that you would not be able to see through it. Now when I say that the dust is so thick we also have to think that this is still space and that dust is still a pretty decent vacuum for the most part. But when you have that dust scattered over many light years and light years deep eventually it becomes like trying to look through a solid wall. So even though it's I say that it's dense it is dense perhaps even maybe astronomically speaking but not dense from the sense that you would be used to thinking of here on Earth. That cloud would be far, far less dense than, say, the Earth's atmosphere, let alone any solid objects here. But it is enough to uh, block out the light from behind it, and it is a region in which stars are forming. So within that dark passage, um, material is actually collapsing down to form stars. So could we come back to this in a couple hundred thousand years or so, we would be able to see new stars that have begun to form. So that was our picture of the day for August the 16th of 2019. It was titled the Elephant's Trunk Nebula in Cepheus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Orion on a plate. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.